Hello, hello everybody. It's me again. Hello. It's Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace and Chocotor with the Comfy Nest. We are going to do the Carrot Patch Project. It's Easter Monday. It's Easter Monday. And listen, I really feel like this Carrot Patch, of course, it's totally appropriate for Easter weekend. However, I think it's just great for spring. It's adorable. If you haven't picked up this kit yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You get everything that you need to create it. I'm going to give you the link. I gave you the link there in the description of the video. I'm going to grab this video down here on my iPad and the link so that I can give you guys that link once again. Hey, Kimberly. Who else is here? A uh, little bunny told me, hop, 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 that there may be a gift away today, one or two. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. <laughs> um, you never know what's going to happen here. That's kind of the fun of hanging out here with us. Okay, I'm sharing the link to the kit, just in case anybody wants to grab it. It's darling. It comes with everything that you need to create this little set. Um... So let me just see if Facebook's going to let me do all the things. Yes, there we go. Hey, Jennifer. Hello, hello again. I've been so busy this morning. Live, busy live. So this morning, where is it? We created Little Junk Journal. This is how it finished up. I added just a couple of things to the front. I added a little bit of that fabric. I added some corrugated cardboard and the Remember the Now. Um, and then on the inside, the thing that I added this morning, this is what we did this morning. I added these little corner tabs so that I could slip this little piece of paper in there. So it's like little tuck corner tabs. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I did to that part. Finish the cover. Kim oh, and I guess I date stamped the back of it because I like to date stamp my projects. So that was this morning. Now we're going to do the carrot patch um, kit. I have something in my eye, which is lovely, right? Hey, everybody. Hey, Cindy. Cindy says, hey, everyone, with a little smile emoji. So cute. Hey, Debbie. Hello, hello, and welcome. If you guys are new here, make sure that you say hello. I'm going to show you what's in the kit. Let me get this camera down, grab my chair here, and we are going to get started. I want to sit on my sweater. I'll fall off this chair so easily, you guys. Crash, boom, bang has been known to happen here. Okay, I took the cellophane off of it, but basically when you get it, it looks like this. Okay, it's all wrapped in cellophane. I took the cellophane off. So here is part of the kit. You get this adorable little pallet wood box. It's a box, you guys, it's wood. I'll show you this in a second. You also get, now this was in an envelope. I took it out of the envelope. It came in an envelope, but you get your transfer designs for designing it. You get two color trays for your paste and a mini squeegee and you get three packs of paste. You get two in orange peel and one in black. These, all of these come in the kit. I don't need them, so I'm gonna gift them away. I don't need them because I already have all these goodies because I'm a designer, I got lots of supplies on hand. Um, so I'm gonna gift these away. I'm gonna put them aside. Those will go to some little lucky chick here. <laughs> Make sure that you say hello because I'll grab the winner from the comments. So I need to know that you're here to see your name. Hello, Anne from Whimsically Knotted. And there is Miss Paula. Hello, my friend Paula. And Michelle is here. And Teresa's here. Hello, hello. Kimmy's here. Oh, good. Tony says, I thought I had, I had joined your text messages, but I hadn't, so I did this morning. But welcome to the text BFF service, Miss Tony. Oh, Michelle said she already did this kit and it was really fun to do. Hey, Carolyn Lexington. Hello, hello. She's on her way to Na Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, be careful. Safe travels, my friend. Blessings for safe travels. Hey, Leslie. She's a newbie from Phoenix. Well, hello, Miss Leslie in Phoenix. Welcome to the Crafty Chicks community here at the Comfy Nest. Thanks, Denise. I got this sweater from Lane Bryant. I love it too. It's very snuggly. It's blah in Kansas. Le Leslie says, how's the weather there? It's blah in Kansas. Listen, girlfriend, it's 19 degrees. I was looking outside and thinking, oh, it's very sunny. I should probably go for a walk. It's 19 degrees. Mama not going outside in that. <laughs> we had six or eight inches of snow on the cars this morning when the kids and my hubby went out there to get the cars started. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, 
Enough about the cold. We're talking springtime with this carrot kit. You do get a set of instructions. So this is everything that you get in the kit. Okay, I'll show you that in a second here. This is what we're making, not the big bunny, but the box and all the little fabric carrots with the little signs on them. That's what we're gonna make. You get instructions. So you will not be left <laughs> without an idea of how to do it. I'm also gonna show you how to do it now. I always keep these, you guys. I don't know if you know me, I love me some good cardboard. So I'm gonna put that aside because I will use that in one of my mixed media projects. I'm gonna put the directions aside, but close by just in case we need them. And then let's look at what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box that you get with your kit? It's so cute. And this is such a darling little kit. And I, okay, I had the idea, this was my idea that I would paint the box because I think this would be really sweet if the box was painted like a really soft sage green or something like that. But I'm not gonna do that because if, you, if you've never used this system before, Chalk Couture, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, but when you get the kit, you don't get sage green in the kit, you get the orange and the black pastes for designing. So I'm gonna do it just like it looks um, when you get the kit, like everything that you need. Now, if you had a sage green paint, or any color really that you like, I think this box would look really nice with the sage green on it. I really do. Um, but you know, what I always say, whatever floats your boat, do you do you girl, make it the way you want it. Okay, so what comes in the box? You get your stuffing, this is the stuffing for the carrots. <laughs> so, and then here's our bag of goodies. Here's our bag of other supplies. Let me put this, we got some, some debris in the, the bottom of the box. Here's our little box that we're gonna be creating. And then here, let's see what's in our bag of supplies. If I can get it opened. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. I'm never nimble when it comes to this stuff. Okay, Michelle kept hers white too. Okay, here we go. We get our carrot tops, they're already put together for us like in little rubber bands around them. So these will be the tops for the carrots and it looks like we're gonna have five of them. So we get our little greenery. We get some jute rope to tie around the top of our carrots. We get these sweet, I think there are two of these. Where's the other one? Yeah, two sweet little tags for hanging on our carrots and there's the jute rope. You get, okay, there are these little clear they're like almost like hair ties the little rubber hair ties that the girls wear now they're little rubber bands that are clear that are going to go on that you're going to use on top of your carrots so i'm gonna i don't want to lose these oh here's another one i don't want to lose these how am i going to do this i guess i'll use i'm going to use the little tray to put these in so i don't lose track of them because they're clear you could see how I would easily lose track of those. And then you get your canvas panels. It's canvas, you guys, that we're gonna use to create our carrots. So we're gonna design the outside of them. It comes with even double-sided tape for the inside of your carrots so you can tape them together. They thought of everything. You don't even need a hot glue gun. It comes with the double-sided tape that you need. So I'm gonna use everything that came with it. The first thing that we're gonna do, I think is, let's get these open. This is our, these are our transfer designs. Uh, Jack be nimble, here we go. Grace be nimble. Grace be quick. <laughs> All right, putting stuff aside. This is gonna go in the front of our box, carrot patch, and of course, you could use this in your garden. You could use it because these are reusable. We're gonna use it to put on the front of our box. However, you could use this little design on anything you wanted. How cute are the carrots all by themselves to make a little spring gift tag? Oh, so cute. Then you get your carrot designs. We get a floral, we get a buffalo plaid, and see on the bottom, it has the little designs to put on bunny bait. How cute as that, it says bunny bait. It's adorable. Those go on our little teeny tiny rounds, okay? I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna use my transfer trimmers and I'm gonna cut. I guess that's the first thing I need to do is cut these apart. Um, so I'm gonna cut, I usually don't, I usually don't cut my, my backings. I like to keep my backings 
so that I can put these back on and store them. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut that so that we can use that. I'm also going to cut this one because we need to have these separated. You can cut the backing. If you want to cut straight through the paper backing, you can do that too. I just, I don't generally do that because I want to have, I don't want to have these little pieces that I might lose. I'd rather have them attached to the big. So I'm going to leave it like that. So where should we start? Why don't we start with a couple of the carrots? Um, so I'm going to put the box aside for a minute. Now, you're going to get little packs of paste. And you're going to need these, meaning like, mm, it's like they're like little ketchup packets. You're going to squish them in between your fingers, warm them up, get them nice and mixed up, and then push the paste down to the bottom. And here's what I would suggest you do. Push the paste all the way to the bottom. Cut a little slit at a diagonal here so that you can squeeze out the paste into your tray and just use what you need. Don't squeeze all of it, just squeeze a little bit of it. And if you need more, you can squeeze it back into the tray to get more of it. Then when you're done with this, cause you're gonna have leftover, push all the paste back down to the bottom, roll it up and put a little paper clip on it. And that will, that will last a while and you'll still have some paste to use on something else. I'm gonna give these away to somebody, so I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna use my pots of paste because I have the big pots of paste in the colors. Actually, I have my black. I may have to open a new one of those because that's getting low. And then for the orange, I'm gonna use Shimmer Pumpkin. This is an old color. I actually cannot find my bumblebee. <laughs> Imagine that. Or excuse me, it comes with orange peel. I cannot find my orange peel in the pot, so I'm gonna use the next orange that I have, which is a shimmer. It's orange, it's gonna work fine on here. So I'm gonna use my pots. But here, we're gonna do one of these at a time, and we're gonna design them. So let's, I really like the buffalo plaid, let's start with that. All we need to do, and I would normally fuzz these, but because we're going on fabric with this, I'm not gonna fuzz it first. It may be easier to lay down your transfer and then put your carrot on top of the transfer. Um, if, if you don't know what fuzzing is, just tell me in the comments and I will explain it to you. These are sticky adhesive transfers, so they're reusable, but they're adhesive. Silk screens that we use to put the design on whatever we want. You can see I'm gonna do it on this little canvas panel. If I was gonna be going onto something wood, I would fuzz the transfer first. I would add a little bit of fuzz from either my jeans or my fuzzing cloth so that it doesn't stick too strongly. Maybe what I should do is start on this end and line it up. Looks like the design is, let's see, is it a little bit bigger than the carrot? Yeah, it looks like it's just a tish bigger, which is okay because you'd rather have it be bigger than smaller. Let me just make sure I'm lined up here. And then you're gonna push your fabric into, no, it's not bigger, I was just off. You're gonna push your carrot into your little canvas panels that you're getting. They're already cut for you guys. We don't even have to do that, it's all done for you. Now, I'm gonna flip this over. It's adhesive, so I can stick it to my table. It's gonna stay down nicely. My, my canvas fabric is underneath here and I'm going to chalk this with some orange. So let me grab a mini squeegee. I better get a Huggies wipe for my fingers because you know me, I'm gonna get some on my fingers. <laughs> so let's, let's be ready for the mess when it happens. Hello, Jennifer. I wonder if I'm seeing all the comments here. Hello, Miss Joyce, welcome. She says she's new here. Cindy says, I love how detailed your instructions are. Well, Cindy, I try really hard. I'm passionate about teaching. I wanna equip all of you with like, not only the knowledge, but the confidence to kind of tackle these projects on with no fear, with no fear. This is all fun here. It's not meant to be fearful. Kim's ready for spring weather. It's cold in New Jersey. It's cold here too. Kim, I'm with you. I'm with you. Hi in North Carolina, Miss Pat. There's Tracy. Becky says, I cut from the bottom. That way I know the color. You cut what from the bottom, honey? Cut from the bottom. Oh, she cuts, she cuts her pastes from the bottom. When I cut them, I don't cut the whole top because I do not want to expose this, 
to, I want to expose it to as little air as possible. So when I cut them, I cut them at a diagonal so that I just get that little part right there that I can squeeze it out of. And then I still have my color on the top and then I can, I can roll it down. But yeah, you do you, girlfriend, like whatever. I love that you guys share your tips and how you do things. So keep sharing in the comments. BFF, Lynn is here from Arkansas. Text BFF. Lynn, we're going to do this kit. It's so fun. Oh, no. Brenda says it's sleeting in Virginia. There's Debbie Chandler. Text BFF. All right. We're going to chalk it. There's a little bit right here that's not cut, that where there's no um, fabric underneath, so it might get on my table. So just when you're doing this, the paste is erasable, so no real worries. However, you wouldn't want to do this like if, you're, if your dining room or kitchen table is like a chunky, fibrous, uh, with nooks and crannies kind of palette wood. You will want to do this right on your table. Put something underneath like some wax paper or if you have a craft mat, um, use that so that you don't muck up your table. But in general, the paste is erasable. It's just, you're not, you're gonna have a hard time getting it out of the nooks and crannies out of wood. Yeah, so just, just be safe and put something protective. Now my table is wipeable. It's like a, it's like a plastic table clever, basically. So I can, as soon as I get anything on here, even glue, I can wipe it off pretty easily. But if you're doing this on a real wood table, be super careful, ladies, that you don't get it embedded into your wood. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm pushing the paste through the design. I'm taking all that extra. We're gonna use that on the next carrot, so I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna peel this back. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look, look at, look at how cute that is, you guys. Now this is dirty. I'll even show you how to clean it. That is ready to go. I'm gonna put this aside to dry so that we can do another one. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean this right now, right in between, because I want to make sure that I'm not gonna get any orange where I don't want it. So I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna spray it with some water. While it's still wet, this is the easiest, best time to clean it. Spray it with some water. I'm gonna grab a paper towel. You can use your board eraser. I try not to use the board eraser until I've gotten most of the paste off, to be truthful. You don't even need the board eraser. We went for years as chocotour lovers without board erasers, although I will say they make life so much more handy. So see on my table, I can wipe it right off of there. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna water it down. This is just plain water in my little misting tool. I'm wiping it. I'm getting all that orange off of there. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean as far as I'm concerned. I just want to make sure I get the orange out of the silk screen so that I can use it again. Whoops. So I'm wiping now. I just want to wipe the back. And I'm going to let this air dry while we, we're going to use the next design because we have this other design here that we can use. So we'll use this one on the next carrot while that other one air dries. Another paper towel to wipe and make sure I don't have anything left there to muck up my fabric. Now, it doesn't even matter, actually. This other fabric that's on the other side that doesn't get designed is going to get rolled into, it's going to be rolled up. So it really wouldn't even matter if I got some icky on it. All right, I think it's easier to put this with the sticky side up and then lay this down. But like I say, you do you. You do whatever way makes more sense for you. Now I wanna push and make sure I don't have any wrinkles or bumps or anything stuck in there that shouldn't be. I'm gonna flip it over, stick it to my table and then we're gonna chalk it. I'm gonna use the same orange. You can make your carrots whatever color you want. You wanna do different orange colors, make some of them light orange, some of them dark. You grab whatever, whatever colors you want. Isn't this cute, Lynn? It comes with everything that you need to do this project. It's really, really handy to buy the kits because it has everything you need. You don't have to start a big supply of pots of paste. You even get the squeegee, you get the tray for your paste. 
you get the designs that you can reuse over and over again. If you wanted to make more carrots, you could do them out of paper or you could do them out of fabric that you might have on hand. It comes with everything you need. I love the kits, you guys. I'm, I'm so happy that Takator is offering more of them. All right, here we go. Now it's stuck to my sticky, it's stuck to the transfer, so I have to give it a little help. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna hold it down while I pull back. And voila, we got a little distressed. It's distressed, but I'm okay with that. Floral carrot. Now let's put that aside to dry and we're gonna clean this sucker. We're gonna clean it up. Now I really do prefer, this is just my personal preference. Most of the time, I'm not reusing the transfer over and over again on the same project. Most of the time I use it once and then it gets cleaned. So I really prefer taking them to my laundry room and I put them in the sink, I let the water run over them and I use my board eraser and I scrub off the paste and it goes right down the sink. I like cleaning them that way. I think it's really simple and easy. However, if you don't have a sink nearby, like right now I don't have a sink nearby and I, I wanna clean these in between each use. So I'm just using my, this is a tablecloth that is waterproof. So I'm using my waterproof tablecloth, bottle of water, and some shop, these are white shop towels. So they're like paper towels, they're just less, they have less lint, I think, than paper towels. Um, I'm just gonna clean the sticky side, clean my table, wipe the transfer down again, really focusing. I don't mind if there's this around here, that paste and that residual color that stained that, I don't mind that. It's not gonna hurt the transfer at all. What I really wanna focus on is getting the color out of the silk screen so that the next time I use it, it's nice and clean, okay? So one more wipe here. It's pretty much dry, but I'm gonna switch out again. I'm gonna go back to this one, put this one aside, give it some dry time. If you need to push the dry time along, I don't know if it's my table that's wet or if it's this transfer. Just use your little drying tool and hit it with some air. Do not use a heating tool. Do not use a, an embossing gun. Please don't do that on your transfers because you'll melt them. They're plastic and they have an adhesive backing and you don't want to melt any of that. So if you want to like help it along with drying, hit it with your, the Chocotour heating tool is very, very low heat. It has some warmth to it, but it's not going to melt anything. You're not going to be able to emboss anything with this. It's a drying tool. So it'll help your paste dry and your inks dry faster. I, I heard my craft mat fall to the floor. That's what that noise was. I'm gonna grab some more paper towels because we're gonna need more of them. All right, next carrot. We're gonna do this couple. So now we have five carrots. I think I'm gonna do three buffalo plaid and two flower, flowers. You can do three flowers and two buffalo plaid, whatever you want. But I think I'm gonna do three in this this design because I really like the buffalo plaid. So I'm putting it down. I want to make sure it's nice and flat. You can see how sticky it still is. Reusable, adhesive, silk screens. It gives us really great designs, makes it really easy. The paste is erasable on anything that's non-porous. So obviously I'm doing this on canvas fabric. The canvas fabric, I'm not going to erase the paste off of that. It's just going to get soaked right into it. However, if I did do the paste on anything that's non-porous, like you can see my tablecloth, my table covering, it's gonna come right off when I wet it and I rub it off. Whoops, the sticky came up. All right, here we go. I'll do one more of these and one more of the florals and then we'll start gluing stuff together and we'll do the other parts. Uh-oh, that one came in really, really distressed. That's okay. It's all right. I like, I like, does you guys know I like the distressed look? We're going to clean this right away. Let's grab, I don't want that. I want a paper towel. Whoops. I have this touch lamp in here and every time I touch it, it turn on the, it gives me more light. Let there be light. I'm just wetting it with regular water. I'm going to wipe it down. I'm holding it with one hand, wiping it with the other. Normally, I do this in my sink. I just think it's so much faster and easier. And you'll use like one paper towel versus using four or five. 
but for the sake of demonstration, since I don't have a sink nearby, we're just gonna do it like this. Now you can see it's erasable on a non-porous surface. It comes right off, you guys, when it's wet. When it's dry, it's gonna stay in place and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna move on you at all, this chalk paste. But when you want to remove it off of a chalkboard, you just have to wet it and then scrub it off. It's so easy. All right, let me check the comments, see what everybody's saying. We're gonna do one more in this buffalo plaid, but I'm gonna put this aside and give it some time to dry, like air dry the rest of it. And we'll go back to the floral for now. Definitely, when I put them in the sink and the water runs over them, I feel like it gets more of the paste off too. Um, so if any of you are having trouble with the adhesiveness of your, your transfers, stuff sticks to them. Like, look, you're gonna get, it, it's, it's a sticky, it's like a sticker. So you're gonna get bits of debris, fabric. If you have a cat, you're gonna get cat hair on the back of it. It's gonna happen. So take it to your sink, run it under water. Don't soak it, just run it under water. Use the board erasers and, and wipe it down just like I am with this cloth, wipe it down. And then before you put them on a towel to air dry, I put them on a towel with the sticky side up. Before you do that, take a Clorox wipe, like a Lysol wipe, a disinfectant wipe, not, not a diaper wipe, not a baby wipe. Take a disinfectant wipe and wipe your adhesive side off one more time, getting all the bits of debris off of it so that your sticky is reactivated. It's gonna be clean and ready to go. Let it dry with the sticky side up and then put it back on its backing and it'll be ready to be used the next time. So if you're struggling at all, like I'll have some people say, well, I used it and now I cleaned it and it's not that sticky. It may be that the backside isn't clean that great. You may need to clean it again. You may need to go over it one more time, girlfriend. Girlfriend, boyfriend. I won't call you my boyfriend. I have a husband, so I shouldn't be calling anybody boyfriend. Um, girlfriend, guy friend. <laughs> I don't know. There are never, I mean, I shouldn't say never. My husband and my kids visit my page when I'm live, but not usually, not usually other men. All right, here we go. Last flower. So easy. Just push it through. You take that squeegee and you have a bunch of that paste on there and you just push it through until you don't see, whoops, until you don't see the white anymore. You're not, you're not gonna see white canvas anymore. You're gonna see all orange. Once you see all orange, you know you've covered everything you need to. I go through and I scrape one more time to get any of that excess off, because I don't, it'll just make it harder to clean and it's just a waste of paste. You're just running it down the sink. They're getting more and more faint as I go. It means I have to push harder. I have to push that paste through there harder. This one, I'm not gonna use again right now, so I'm not even gonna bother cleaning it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back on its backing and I will clean it later in my sink so that I can get more of that off of there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside and let's go to the last carrot. Let's see if I can get this one a little better. I'm gonna push a little harder with my paste, with my squeegee. There, nice and flat. Spin it around, stick it on the table, and let's see if we can do a better job this time. Uh, now I got paste all over my thumb. Hey, Jennifer. Who else is saying hi? Oh, look at all those cute little emojis you gave me. I think I pinned your comment. That's hilarious. I pinned your comment to the top of the page. I'm going to unpin that. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to pin. Mm, it... Uh, Mary is asking what size fabric. It came with it. The kit comes with the fabric and it's already cut into carrot shapes. So you don't have to worry about anything with the sizes of the fabric. It all comes ready to go. Hi, Glow. Hello, hello, friend. I'm so glad you made it. Who else is coming on? I am gonna do a gift away at the end of the live. So make sure that you say hello. Make sure that you let me know that you're here because I'm gonna pull somebody randomly from the comments to send to send this um, my extra supplies to. Uh-oh, my screen just went wonky on me. Uh, I'm trying to see comments. And my screen just went all wonky. Yeah, Kimberly, do you have to clean it each time? It's totally up to you. 
Um, if you scrape really well and clean, you know, if you get as much of that paste off in between, you may not have to. I have done projects where I use the transfer multiple times without cleaning it before, um, using it multiple times on surfaces before cleaning it. So it's totally up to you. I, I think if you're brand new though, you may want to clean it in between just so you don't get disappointed and you don't have mucked up look to it. Um, hey, in Ohio, Miss Linda, hello, hello, and welcome. Tammy says, I'd love to have some chocolate tour to try. Well, listen, Tammy, if you don't happen, well, today I'm going to be just gifting out the pastes, the, um, it's the paste, the squeegee, and the little trays for the paste. That's what I'm going to be giving, gifting out. So people who already have some chocolate tour, this is going to be a great little gift for you. If you don't already have some chocolate tour, um, connect with me because I have a little kit, a mini try me kit that comes with um, a transfer, a squeegee, a paste, and a surface, a little tag service and a ribbon to, to hang the tag. Um, and it's $7.95. So it's a great way to test this out if you're on the fence or not sure if you want to use it. <laughs> um, if you're just not sure if you want to get into it. So just let me know if you need to, to get a hold of a sample kit. Because there, I, I can show you one too here. Michelle says, my lemon tray has already been shipped out. Yay! All right, let me grab this little sample before I forget. For those of you who haven't tried it yet, I can connect you with one of these little samples. It's a little sample. It comes with the information that you need, the instructions that you need. And when you open it up, it comes with a mini tag, a mini squeegee, a pack of paste, and the mini transfer that you can do on the tag. And there's a ribbon inside with the tag as well. Um, this is $7.95 in the US, $8.95 in Canada. It will ship straight to your door. You can order one just to give it a whirl and see if you're going to like it before you invest in anything major, right? Um, I think it's such, we did not always have that option and I'm thrilled about having it because for those of you who are on the fence and you're just not sure you want to invest in any of the supplies, why not try for $7.95? I think it's such a great option. So if you're interested in the sample kit, you can type in sample and I'll try to connect with you when we're done here and send you the link to grab that um, or just message me. Send me a private message and I'll get you that link that way. All right, lots of paste on my fingers. <laughs> That's not needed. I'm going to cover up this orange paste because we're done with it. And we'll go to the black paste next. Oh, I didn't really focus on pushing too hard on that one. Oh, but it, it turned out great. Okay, this is gonna go back on the backing. I'm not even gonna monkey with it. I, I like to run them under the sink with water to clean them. I just think it's so much faster and easier. And I use less paper towels. So I'm gonna put it here for now. And here's my little fabric, my canvas fabric carrots. We'll put these together in a minute. I'm gonna put it aside so it can dry and then we'll work on our, our little our little box for our carrots that our carrots will sit in. So our box, oh, where's the transfer for the box? It's right here. Now this one I am going to fuzz. I am going to fuzz it because I'm doing it on a flat surface. It's not fabric. It's a flat surface. So the sticky is really going to stick to this really strongly. So to protect my transfer a little bit, I'm going to just fuzz it on this fuzzing cloth real quick. I'm going to peel it off the backing. We'll save the backing because we're going to need that later. We're going to fuzz this part. Just add a little fuzz. You can do this on your jeans. I would not do it on this sweater because the sweater is very, very plush and soft and fuzzy. We don't want that much fuzz. But a pair of jeans, a clean towel, or a clean rag. This is just a microfiber towel from Chalk Couture. Just to add a little bit of fuzz to that. Just fuzz it at least once before you stick this to your project and get started. This is the same on all sides, so we don't have to worry about is one side the front and one side the back. That doesn't quite matter. We're gonna line this up. I better stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, I have to use my own sticky tape. I couldn't get the tape they sent to stick. Oh, Debbie, that's interesting. We'll see how what kind of luck I have today with that. You could use a hot glue gun if that's just what you have on hand and that's what you wanna use. Now, I'm trying to see 
one way to test. So it has a it has a rectangle line around it, and you don't have to use that. You you could omit that and just put the carrot patch on there. Um, I always refer back to the information that they give you. It shows you exactly what it's gonna look like, see with the line around it. But if you don't want that line on there, you could, or if you wanted to do it a different color and you have some more paste, you could do it a different color. I, to, to check my sizing, I usually, like, it's sticky. So if I stick this down on all edges, then I can see if I'm really even. And I am quite even, actually. Surprisingly, this time, I'm quite even. So this paste, uh, it's almost out. Okay. This is when your multi-tool comes in handy because this little hook on your multi-tool that I use, I use this all the time, every day, probably several times a day. When I'm gluing things, I use this as my silicone tip to push things into the glue. But this edge is designed to fit in the bottom of your paste jar so that I can get in there and grab all that paste that's hiding in those crevices. Looks like I need a new jar, but in reality, I have all that paste in there that's kind of hiding in those crevices of the jar. That's what this tool, this end of the tool is made for. So I'm going to try to mix that all really well. Give it a good mix, because that's been stuck in those edges for a while and it's, you want to get it reconstituted and wet and get it all mixed in with the rest of it. And then I'm going to get as much of that off that tool as possible back into the jar because I'm super frugal and I don't want to waste any of it. This is going to go in my pot of water where I put my paintbrushes so I can clean that later. And now I've found lots more paste to use. I'm going to grab a new squeegee and I'm going to grab some of that black paste. I don't need that much. We're going to grab some black paste and we're just going to go ahead and push this through the silk screen. So I'm going to get it on the board and then I'm going to start pushing it through. It's that easy. And you know, we have an ink formula that you can make permanent by heat setting on things like fabric and ceramics, like glasses and dishware and t-shirts and onesies and tea towels and aprons. So it's nice to have the two options. The paste is erasable and the ink is permanent. Okay, it's on there and you can see the design through there so I don't, I don't have a whole lot of waste there. All of the excess paste goes back in the pot. This goes in water so I can clean it later. And we're gonna pull this off. We have our sweet little design. Pick your own at the carrot patch. All right, this will go back on the backing and I will clean it later. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'll put it behind me. Okay, let's check our carrots. This I'm gonna put aside to dry. <laughs> it's so cute. And then let's go back to our carrots. Here we go. Let's see if that sticky tape works for me. It's so beautiful and so easy, you guys. Isn't it cool, Glow? It's the coolest thing ever. Okay, we got our carrots here. We got our, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do these two little things. Before I put my black away completely, I haven't covered it yet. I'm gonna grab a mini squeegee. This is the size you get with your kit. Um, I gotta grab these parts of the transfers. Hang tight, girls. Okay, I gotta grab this little part, the bunny bait. And I have a lot of excess transfer that it's, that's not serving any purpose. So I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. That's not serving me at all. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller because again, I don't need it to be that big. I just don't need it to be that big. It'll fit easier when I put it back on the backing if I cut it down to a smaller size. This goes on our little, our little tiny tags here. We got one that says bunny bait and the other one says five cents. So let's grab a tiny little bit of paste and push this through. It's probably gonna pick up the whole darn medallion because it's really stuck on there. You guys, <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Okay, this I'm gonna put back on the backing off, it's off screen, but I'm putting it back on the backing. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. 
here's the other one. We need our little five cent one. So let's take this off of here. And again, I have a lot of excess there that I don't need. So I'm just gonna cut it down because I don't need any of this extra. Throw that out. It's gonna make it a lot easier to put it back on the backing because it's smaller to size. Okay, same thing. This one has a little ring around the five cents. You can include it or you don't have to. Totally up to you. Um, let's get it on there. We got our squeegee. I just need a tiny little bit of paste. Now I got black paste all over my fingers. I'm gonna squeegee this through. Whoops. I'm gonna put the paste back. This is gonna go in the water. Wipe my fingers, because I got, I got me some black paste. It's adorable, right? They are so cute. Hi, Don. Hello, hello, I don't think I've seen you in a while, Don Ayers. Hey, Melissa, she says so funny. So funny. So Christina is here checking in from work. Hey, Christina. All right, we're gonna try to pull this off without getting too much black on my fingers. We got a little five cent marker. That's adorable, it looks like a little token. I'm gonna put this back on the backing until I'm ready to clean that in my um, laundry room. All right, these guys now, <gasps> eek, it's so exciting. We got some florals. We got some buffalo plaid. Did I lose one? Where did one go? Hello, where are you, my friend? I lost one, girls. Oh, here it is, it fell, it fell down. This one got really faint up here, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me in the least. I'm gonna check them for dryness. Like that one's dry, that one's dry. This one's the most damp. I'm gonna put this aside and this aside. Let's work with these, cause these are dry. I'll put them in order of how dry they are. All right, now let's see about gluing and stuffing. Eek, so exciting. So here we go, we got this double-sided tape and you're supposed to roll I'm going to put the double-sided tape here. I'm going to roll it and then roll it right on top of itself to create the little carrot, and then we're going to stuff it. So that's the idea. So I'm going to grab one of these. Now, you can use your hot glue gun, okay? If you have a glue that you prefer, go ahead and use it. I want to make sure I get edge to edge here. But again, like... If these are incredibly, this is nice that it's double-sided because we can get it stuck on there and then, you know, I can still handle it because it's not too sticky yet and then peel it off. So I'm going to push really hard. Usually with double-sided tape, you got to really push hard to get it to adhere to that surface. Then get that backing off and then the glue will stay on. I didn't push hard enough. There we go. If, if the glue starts to come up with the strip, push harder. There, now it's stuck on there. Whoop, I missed that last bit. Right here. It didn't stick this last bit, it came back up. So I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna stretch it out and get it stuck onto there. Oh, it wants to stick on my finger more than on the, where's my silicone tool? All right, we might have to reinforce because I screwed that one up, you guys. Look at, look at, it wants to come up with my finger. I gotta cut it. These are coated. These little scissors are coated for, for working with the transfers so that things don't stick to them. See how the tape came right off? It's stuck on my finger, but it came right off of the, the transfer trimmers because they're coated um, so that sticky things don't stick to them too badly because they're meant for cutting our sticky transfers. Okay. I've got one little piece of glue right there that's being stubborn. I'm gonna start my hot glue gun just so I can reinforce that because it's gonna need it. Let's do the next one. Let's try. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Oh, I need my readers, girlfriends. Mama can't see so good. Grab one of these. I'm gonna to try to stick it on here without touching too much of it so it doesn't stick to my fingers. And then it might be best to take like your mini squeegee or something hard like an old credit card let's see what else do we have that we could use like something like this that will push i have these little transfer tools like a tongue depressor anything like that an old ruler an old credit card to 
push down. Let's try to use this on push down that tape into that glue or into that fabric. Let's push it down in and see if this does us any better than the first one. Now, yep. Okay, there's the tip for you. Don't just use your fingers. Your fingers are soft. They're soft and they're malleable, right? You're gonna be able to push, you can push into them and indent them. This, there's no give with this. It's a hard stick. So I used the hard stick to push that glue into the fabric and that time I had absolutely no trouble. It all stuck down just fine. So now I'm gonna roll this. I put the sticky on the, on the side, that, the side that's not designed, the side that's going inside the carrot. And I'm gonna roll this carrot I wonder what the easiest way to do this. I'm going to roll the carrot and I'm going to meet up the edges. I better stand up. Roll the carrot. I'm going to meet up the edges here. I want, I'm going to line up this part of the carrot on the outside of the glue and then I'm going to flip it onto itself and glue it down. Okay. We're going to flip and glue her down. And you can push now. My, my, it's dry now. My, my, um, carrot is all dry, the paste. So now, look how well that stuck, you guys. Now it's stuck down. Now I can stuff that with some stuffing. <laughs> so cute. And then we're going to like, we're gonna cinch it up with the rubber band. We're gonna stuff it, cinch it up, put the rope around it. All right, so now we know, now we know. When you're working with this, have something hard and stiff and strong like a like a wood stick like a popsicle stick even get your glue down in place with your fingers lightly get it down there as close to the edge as you possibly can then come back over it with something really strong see how much pressure i'm putting i'm really pushing that glue down into the fabric and then come back and peel Oh, I didn't push hard enough right there. There. Same thing. We're gonna we're gonna turn this over itself. We're gonna meet up these edges. I'm gonna push down. Now that it's dry, I can push down on that design. Here, I think I'm gonna need a little help because I think I lost the very end of my glue right there. Oh, that's glueable. This one tip. I'm gonna just put a little bit of hot glue in there. Yep, just a tiny bit. This is where my little silicone tools come in place. They're so nice for gluing stuff together. Okay, this one, before I roll, I'm gonna roll, well, maybe I can roll most of it. I lost this edge of my glue, so I'm gonna roll this top part together and then right here, I'm gonna need a little glue. So we can reinforce. You could use fabric glue. You could use tacky glue for this. Um, those both would work as well. I'm just using hot glue because I have it here and ready. It's more ready than my fingers. <laughs> there, I don't wanna burn myself. I'm scaredy cat when it comes to the hot glue. Okay, so that one's done. Oh, I've got that little spot right there. I gotta push down harder. I just didn't push down hard enough. Okay, we got our little flowers. This one's really distressed. Two more with the sticky part. I'm gonna stick her down. Use my stick to really push it into the fabric. I'm gonna peel this back. Whoa, no, it came, this whole part came off. Let's see if we can still make it work. It's really sticky tape. The, the, the trick is getting it stuck onto the fabric. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna line this edge up with the edge of the tape. Once I've got that lined up, I can roll it on top of itself. Roll this under, roll this on top of itself and just like roll it right into the other half. Don't see this didn't line up perfectly, but that's okay because that's all going to get scrunched up anyway. You're never going to notice that. Okay, but look at it, it's holding it pretty darn good. 
Hey Phyllis, how are you? We're doing the little, we're doing the little carrots. We're doing the carrot box. We're almost done with this part. Then we can stuff. Everything is chalked. We're going to stuff and we're going to put together the carrots. We're going to put their tops on them and do all the pretty little decor parts, the little detail parts to them. Okay, let's see what we get on this strip. Go really slow because if it's if it's not stuck strong enough you can come like we do with transfers you can come back in and apply a little more pressure go slow go slow yep that one worked perfectly okay, I'm gonna line up the edge of the glue with the edge of my fabric and I'm gonna roll it right into itself if I can I'm gonna roll it right into itself while I'm pushing down on that fabric to get it to stick. I just missed the, I just missed that end, that corner. There's sticky there. I just missed it. I didn't I didn't push down hard enough. There we go. Pinch it together. I got a little extra glue there. I'm just going to fold that over. Now, we can use like our little detail tool to like make sure that we got this nice and open and ready to accept the fluff. <laughs> we got some fluff. Oh, Linda, we are live, girlfriend. I'm still live doing this. Look at you guys. You even get the fluff to stuff down into your carrots. And if your fingers aren't long enough, just use your multi-tool, any stick, any stick that you have. Get that. Oh! <laughs> busted a gut. I busted. <laughs> you guys, it's like my pants. It's like my pants after Easter dinner. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna reinforce with some glue here. I pushed too hard. I tried to stuff too much. You guys, just like my jeans, Gracie tried to stuff too much into that bit of fabric, and the the fabric said, "Uh, uh, not having it." All right. So note to self, girls, when you get this kit, <laughs> don't push too hard. Yes, Linda, I am live. Don't push too hard, friends, because if you do. You might bust a gut right there. You might bust a seam. And Michelle said, don't ever operate on me. Listen, Linda, listen, I couldn't, I am not, I don't even like when my kids get a bumper bruise that oozes any amount of blood. My husband usually sends me to the garage because I freak out. I cannot handle it. I cannot handle it. I don't like the sight of cuts or blood or any of that. Okay. We're gonna let this recover because I got some hot glue on it now. Let's go to the next one. Just don't push too hard, friends. Okay. These are precious, right, Phyllis? Phyllis said she made some last year on her sewing machine. Okay. Now, note to self: do not. Where's my little pushy tool? Don't get too overzealous here, like I did. Gentle. Be gentle. Okay. We're gonna stuff that carrot. We're going to cinch up the top. It came with, you're gonna get in your kit, you're gonna get these little rubbery bands. You're gonna put one around the top. Oh, I'm really bad at this like dexterity stuff. Put one around the, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, don't forget your little greenery. Stick that in there. Now, now you can put this around the top. I would like this to be a little more fluffy. So I'm gonna separate these a little bit. I'm gonna stuff it in the middle there. There, that's better. Now, the little rubbery thing. It's like a little hair tie is what it makes me think of. We gotta get it around the greenery. Actually, it might be easier to do this a different way, so we'll try it a different way next time. Hey, listen, we're live, and this is the first time I'm doing this with you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you kidding me with that cuteness? Let's grab a little more fluff. I'm gonna grab a little bit less I'm going to stuff a little bit at a time. Rather than grabbing one big, huge chunk, do a little bit. Make it more fluffy and grab a little bit less and stuff it in there. I wonder if it wouldn't be easier. Uh-oh, one, one of my little rubber bands just flew off the table. <laughs> Leave it to me. I wonder if it wouldn't be easier to first put this on, then... 
open that up and then stuff your little greenery in. Yeah, that's easier. That was easier, okay? So you can learn vicariously through me. I'll make all this, the mistakes. I will work out all the details and then you guys, when you grab your kit, these kits are available now. That's probably too much fluff. These kits are available now and when you grab it from my site, I have a little spot here that I missed. I want to glue down. When you grab it from my site, you can come back to this video. So if you want to share it, share the video on your own Facebook wall. That way you can um, find it easily when you get your kit in the mail. And then you can follow along with it. And I will have already made all the bust gut mistakes so that you don't have to. I wonder if I just want just a little more in there. I'm going to make this one really fluffy. Rubber band, I lost one rubber band, so we're gonna have to make it up with the last one. I'll put this little clear rubber band around it. I'm gonna take the greenery. You get all of this stuff, everything that you need here that you get in your kit. I'm gonna stuff that in there. My top, I, you know what, you guys, too? Hold on, mama's getting hot. Busting a gut here. I actually really like them when they're not like, I like them when they're not uber perfect. I like them distressed because they that really takes on the handmade to me. All right, we're gonna stuff two more of them and then we're gonna tie them together and put it all in the little box. Yeah, the band, putting the band on first, I think it's easier. I did lose one band. One band went flying <laughs> that way. So we're just gonna have to use the jute rope on the last one because I'm sure it's like under the table now. And I'm not gonna go digging it out now. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we've got all this jute rope that we're gonna use to tie on these and we can string up one of our little, okay. When you have trouble stringing, because if your jute rope is bigger than the hole or it's just gotten a little bit gnarly, grab a little bit of a stick glue and put it on the end of your yarn, your rope, whatever it is that you're using to thread through the hole, it will just make it a lot easier to get it through the hole. So just twist it in the same direction that the rope was twisted originally. It makes it like a little pin or a little like needle so that you can get that through there. Okay, so this one, we're just gonna tie this to the very first carrot. Why not? Why not? Let's tie it on here. And you can have your rope exposed or you don't have to if you don't want to, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna twist that so we can really see that. Tie this in a little knot in the back. Or maybe I have enough, I can make a cute little bow. <laughs> so cute. We're gonna get these in here. All right, we got two more to stuff though. This is really fun, you guys. I think this would be a great little project to share if you have a granddaughter or a daughter or a neighbor or your mom and you like to get together for coffee or tea on a regular basis and craft and create. This would be a great little project to do together because there's lots of little parts that need to be done and you could kind of tackle it as a team. I think that it would be a really precious thing to do together. So you can get the kit on my site. I've given you the link. It's gonna be so cute, right, Pat? And you, if you have other little um, design elements at home, which I'm sure you do, other little bunnies or fabric carrots or chocolates or anything that you wanna put into your little, um, your little square crate with your carrots, you could totally do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're just too cute for words. We're gonna pile them in here. You got, like, I got so much more of this fill than I need. Like, there's no way I could, I personally, there's no way I could stuff that all into these carrots. Just no way. I mean, you saw me bust a gut right there a few minutes ago. <laughs> all right, this one, I'm missing the rubber band for this one. It's gone. So we're just going to, it flew off the table. So we're just going to tie it together like this. I'm going to stuff that in there. We're going to tie it toward the top and actually... A little bit of glue because on this one I'm gonna thread the bunny bait on here 
So let's get this twisted up. I probably took too much glue. There's my little bunny bait that we made. Let's put that through there. Yeah, I got like a ton of glue on my finger. I want to get another one, Michelle said. Debbie said I might too. Go grab another one. It would be really cute. Because you could have, then you would have two boxes that you could use for any projects. And I think that five carrots, did you guys find that five carrots are not going to fill this box? They're not going to fill the box, but 10 carrots might. Um, or just put other things in there with it. Like I said, if you had like a little porcelain bunny or something, you could put that in there. You could put a little, si a plant on the side. We'll, I'm going to, we'll look at some options for stuffing that with some other stuff. But let me get these last two tied three. I have to tie three of them. I want this to be kind of close to the top. Yeah, like that. The other one I tied in the back, so I'm going to bring this around. I tied it in the front to get it tied, and we can put another tie in the back with a little bow. We have enough rope to make bows with this, and then we'll get that little bunny bait, and you can fluff these, of course. Whoops, of course. Fluff these. And you know, another thing I might consider doing actually is putting a little glue down in here. Like now that I have that, I think I would be tempted to put a little dollop of glue in there and then stuff this through that, that opening so it's not going to budge on you. And if the grandkids come and grab it by the top, it, it's not going to budge. Now it's going gonna, it's gonna to get hot glued right in there. Okay, let's tie these last two. Oh, I busted. I got a little busting right there. It's too much, too much stuffing. <laughs> yesterday, you guys, yesterday we had, um, for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Oh, I'm running out of glue. For Thanksgiving dinner, we had turkey. We had turkey and stuffing because my family, my family said they did not, this is how they do this, right? They say they don't want ham. So I go, you know, we had a turkey left over from our Thanksgiving celebration. So I said, all right, we'll make that other turkey. I did stuffing. We had, we had lots of stuff. We had, I did make, um, they love deviled eggs. So we made deviled eggs with all of the eggs that we boiled. <laughs> and um, at dinner, we're sitting and we're eating turkey. And I'm like, this is kind of feels like Thanksgiving. We got six inches of snow today. It's cold. It's not, it doesn't feel like spring and we're eating turkey. So it kind of feels like to me, like this is Thanksgiving dinner. And my 16-year-old said, why are we eating turkey anyway? I said, because you guys said you didn't want ham. So we started defrosting the turkey like last weekend. And he said, I never said I didn't want ham. I was like, oh, Lordy, here we go. Here we go with this stuff. I like ham. <laughs> I said, you know what? At the first family discussion, you, you voted for no ham. So we got turkey today. So we all had turkey. It felt very much like like Thanksgiving. So I did tie that into a little bow. So we have one more to tie and then basically it's done. Although I think it could be really fun to play with the box itself because there's a lot of room in this box. Fill the box with chocolate like Hershey's chocolates or um, like little Cadbury eggs or something for spring. Even though it's Easter Monday, I really feel like this it isn't just for Easter. I think this could be up all spring, even all summer, especially if you are a gardener and you garden and you have carrots in your garden. If you have little bunny visitors that come into your garden, I'm gonna try to plop these in here. I see a big space here, right in here for chocolates, but hold on girlfriends, because I have other greenery that we could put in there. So what if you just took like for this open space right here, for those girls like Michelle, if you guys are gonna get two of these, 10 carats would fit. You could grab other, another idea is to just go to the store and get canvas, go get some more canvas material. You already have the transfers, so you could just add more carrots to it, but you wouldn't get the box. You're not gonna get the little medallions, right? So if you want, another set with a box and the medallions to either gift to someone or to make again, um, go for it. Otherwise you could grab some more material to design, you know, with the transfers that you have. 
you might need to pick up a little more paste, but you could do that. But then we could take whatever greeneries you have. I'm just grabbing like what's literally close to me. I haven't even taken the tags off these yet. Wait till I show you the next one that I got at Michael's. I'm not very good at this stuff, you guys, and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it right now. But even if you didn't have something like a bunny to put in here, look at these that I got off at Michael's. I got this online, michaels.com. <laughs> they look like a little carrot. It's like a little carrot spray with the little yellow beads and white beads in there. Like, you guys. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, this is too big. This is taken over. This one's too big, hold on. We got two of them in there, that's why. Let's, let's see if we can do it without that one because I feel like it's just taking over too much space. It's taken away, where did you come from? When these fall off, you guys, as long as you can find the stem that it came from, you can plop it right back on there. I won't worry about it right now. Let's get this bent so it's a little bit lower. And we're gonna stuff it in between and then spread these out and intermingle them. And then we get our carrots over here, kind of hanging out. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Bunny bait, and then there's my little five center. You guys, I mean, really, are you kidding me with this? <laughs> How cute it is. I'm so loving it, and I think it would be so precious on a windowsill or on your mantelpiece or your, on your desk at work. What a great little spring welcome to somebody coming into your office to meet with you. What a great little gift. The kit itself, because it comes with everything that you would need, would be a great gift for a DIY girl, especially for Mother's Day, because that's coming up. So many fun options with Chalk Couture. It's adorable, right, Tamara? Kimberly, it's so cute, 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 cute. If you love it, if you love it, think about grabbing one. I'm gonna grab you guys this if I can, if I can. I don't know why is Facebook giving me such trouble with the sharing today. Yeah, if you guys could hit that share button, that would help me immensely. It's not letting me share it again. I was trying to get you the link so that you guys could grab the kit. Hold on, girls. I'll hook you up, friends. There it is. I have it right here. Copy. I'm going to put it right in the comments for you right this second. Paste. There it is. There's the link to grab this kit. Grab them all supplies last. I know that, like I said, I know that Easter is technically over. It's Easter Monday, but I don't think of this as Easter. I think of it as Easter and beyond. For spring and summer i think this is so darling and i don't know that this kit will be back next year um generally when it comes out for one season then it's usually gone it won't come back so if you really love it grab one now because then you can you'll have one for next season too oh my gosh i love it so much fun so much fun thanks for joining me you guys today Thank you, Joyce, for sharing this, sprinkling the love out there. I appreciate it. Let me grab a winner. I'm going to grab a winner, and I'm going to send somebody, one of you, the paste packets, the squeegee, and the trays from this kit. I don't need them. I love to share them. Um, so I'm going to share this with somebody. So let me uh, get close to my iPad here so I can go into the comments and just I'm going to scroll until I see a name. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to do it from here because I think I can see more of you here. All right, here we go. The first person that I see who is going to win this is Kimberly Buck. Bunny bait. It's so sweet. Love, love, love it. That was the comment, Kimberly Buck, that just won you this. Stop. This is goodies. So do me a favor, Kimberly. Send me a private message to remind me that you won so that I can send you these goodies. Tell me, you know, say, Grace, I won the carrot patch giveaway. That will remind me to send you that stuff. Um, the comment that made you win was bunny bait is too sweet. <laughs> I love, love, love it. She loves the little bunny bait. There you go, Kimberly. Another view of it. You guys, it was so easy to make. It took a little time, but I just feel like it's 
for the, um, the, think about it. If you pay that money and you sit down with your granddaughter or your daughter or your mom or your sister or your neighbor and you guys get to create and craft for an hour and have coffee or wine or whatever you like and sit there and create and chat and visit, it's totally worth the money because you're you're getting an hour's worth or more of entertainment and fun with your friend or just do it by yourself while you're watching some great movies it's totally worth it what a great way to entertain yourself and then you have this really cute thing on hand afterwards all right you guys if you have questions let me know join the free the vip group the craft group you guys until tonight monday that's tonight at midnight to order from the launch um if you are a vip craft club member you will be entered to win a prize. So go into the VIP Craft Club, Club to learn what the prize is. I'm actually giving away two. So another prize will go to um, people who are Club Couture members with me. So two people, people who are Club Couture members with me or people who um, get the monthly kit from me. I have another monthly kit that I offer. Those people will be entered to win another. So they're gonna be entered to win two different prizes. But anybody who is um, in the VIP club and you order tonight by midnight anything from my site, you're going to be entered to win the first prize. So two prizes being given away, depending on what your level of um, support or cost. Like if you're, like I said, if you're a monthly kit subscriber, you're going to be entered twice. So it's kind of like a perk for being a club couture member. Okay, you guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. I just gave you the link to the VIP Craft Club. If you're not a member, please join us in there. It's free, and it's just for people who love this product line. It's specifically for people who love Chalk Couture um, so that I can share giveaways and fun discounts and bundles and stuff like that. Have a blessed day, you guys. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy. Bye.